My name is Beth Warren. I am a registered dietitian and author of Living a Real Life with Real Food. I am the owner and founder of Beth Warren Nutrition, and I'm a proud mommy of five. I came into the world of nutrition actually because I really love food. Um, I love to be around food. I love to cook food. I really enjoy it. And when I discovered that you could use food to actually help people and help prevent diseases and fight diseases and make people happier and have an overall well being and a better life. I really wanted to pursue it as a business. I grew up in Deal, New Jersey, and I now live in Brooklyn, New York, where I have my business and I also have a home for my family. A typical day for me is actually pretty chaotic. I wouldn't really say that any day is typical because anything can, can come up. I would split up my days into two. One, two days a week, I actually see patients one-on-one -on -one or groups or family in my private practice behind my desk where we talk about anything they are coming to see me for, whether for weight loss or they are diagnosed with a certain disease or they just want to overall eat healthier. And then my other days are split with caring more for my kids, being a mom, being home for them, doing homework, cooking for dinners. And also I spend those days working with corporate clients who I work with lunch and learns or any other workshop type of ideas, speaking engagements, cooking demos. Uh, when it comes to my children, they're my first and foremost. So if there's a phone call coming in from my kids, everything drops and I go to them. It, it works out really well. I have a great support system. I have uh, people that help me out and um, my husband, my family, my friends, my amazing assistant. So for me, my priorities, of course, are number one, my family my business, my, my fitness to me is super critical. Um, if you don't make time for exercise, if you don't have it as part of your day-to-day -day routine or your weekly routine, it quickly gets thrown to the wayside. I have a bunch of amazing trainers and amazing classes that I have everyone schedule and I'm able to kind of put in, I'm working till seven o'clock tonight, let me run to an eight o'clock class. My book is called Living a Real Life with Real Food, How to Get Healthy, Lose Weight, and Stay Energized the Kosher Way. And what inspired me to write it was just that I really wanted to share with people my nutrition philosophy, my strategy that I've seen to help myself and so many other people in my private practice. My nutrition philosophy really focuses on whole foods. Uh, I really try to encourage people to eat less processed foods, more whole foods as much as they can. I personally am a kosher foodie, so I eat kosher foods and I try to instill those types of disciplines and focus for people to help get them to their goals of wanting to eat healthier. My food choices during the day may differ based on what I'm doing and based on where I am. I try to shift them to fit into my everyday life no matter what I'm doing. It's very important for me to eat about every three hours as best as I can. So that means it breaks down into something like a breakfast, a snack, a lunch, a snack, a dinner, that type of routine, which is also how I counsel other people to eat. The major things I look for for brands that I like are those whole food ingredients. It really are ingredients I can pronounce. I try to stay away from anything that I don't even understand what it is being in my nutrition chemistry background. So I try to look for wholesome ingredients, no artificial colors, no artificial flavors, limited added sugars, so less than 10 grams of sugar or less depending on what it is, high fiber foods, because fiber is really important in the diet. Sweeteners is a pretty controversial topic. Honestly, our goal in life is not really to need sweetness. A lot of times why we're just so unhealthy in our day to day or craving those sweet foods is because we actually lost our taste to bitter. We no longer could drink coffee just as coffee. We're suddenly putting creamers and milk and sweeteners and, and vanilla and all these funky things. And when we do that, we're actually enhancing our sweet tooth and that's just causing us to crave more of the food that's not healthy for us. And then if I wanted something after dinner, I would usually probably have a fruit or like a dried piece of mango, that's kind of like my spice little thing. Um, unsweetened, no added sweeteners, I guess you could say, but drinking water, staying hydrated, super important. Um, definitely when I'm speaking on those 12 hour shifts in my day, I need to drink a lot more, I'm talking a lot, and I always usually have my bottle of water or some other drink along with me. I think it's just a really important message to give to people that I think that they're really able to do anything that they want to in life. I think if they're passionate and they really want to pursue something, they shouldn't let anybody stop them and they should really go with their gut and go with their love and go with their education and really do what they really want to do. I get the question very often about how I'm able to balance so many things in my life, whether through family, my business, my 
speaking, my exercise, everything. And I really boil it down to priorities and passion. I think that if you really want to do something, you really can do anything. It sounds cliche, but it's very true. If you don't really want to do something or you're not passionate about it, you will never find the time.